We meet again. Hi, Salami. So many of you were so freaked out by my dog because she would not stop bugging me in the last video. Rest assured, she's gonna do the exact same thing today. Anyways, Happy New Year! Do you mind? Thank you. First order on our agenda. <laughs> So many of you were super supportive over my hair and how thick it's gotten and long and I've got space buns and it's bringing me tremendous amounts of joy. Thank you. Second thing on our agenda. Look at my shoes. <laughs> I'm so vibing with cute shoes nowadays. Oh my god. Anyways. Third thing on our agenda. Last year I posted a video that I was a bit uh, reluctant and hesitant to post because it was a failure in my eyes. In this video, I attempted to blonde in my friend, even though I told her I'm not a blonde specialist, but she was like, let's try it. And I was like, I, I wanted the challenge. It went about as well as you'd expect for someone who isn't a blonde specialist. It was not perfect. I decided to post that video because I wanted to share with you that I do not know everything. Very few people know everything about their sector and I make it quite obvious that I prefer wigs, brighter hair colors and maybe bolder haircuts. Blondes I tend to stay away from just because it's such a specialized area and you need to understand hair so incredibly well. And I admit, I'm not someone who knows it very well at all. So I was like, I'll take you. You'll be my guinea pig. We'll see what we can do. The end result it was not that wild. But when you take into consideration that it was an eight hour transformation, it's like, okay, we didn't get far. I wanted to try fix it again. And so in this video, we're going to fix Jenny's hair also known as my mistakes, because they were mine. Just, it's Jenny's hair, but reality, the title should be Stella fixes Stella's mistakes. I fix my own hair mistakes, whatever. Let's get into it. So in the first transformation, Jenny literally just wanted to move up her highlights, but she also felt like her roots were too dark. Like it was just too dark. So the whole, the, it, the kind of the vibe for the video was we wanted to brighten her, and we wanted to make her a tiny bit icier. And I also gave her a Scandinavian money piece. So we ended up using highlights, which so many of you in the comments told me that you guys do not fuck with highlights because they never ever give you the results that you're after. And now I believe you because it turned her hair yellow, orange, actually. I loathe my experience with highlights. I, I do not know in what instance they should be used, but on her hair, which was just really too dark for it and too warm, it just turned her orange. So it made me freak out. I dyed her hair with a bunch of toners. I bleached her hair twice. It didn't do anything. Her money piece was way too warm. It, it, in the end, she kind of ended up silver, but her ends were still way too yellow. And for it being an eight hour transformation, you were expecting, oh my God, I was expecting transformation. In the end, it was like, eh. So this time around, she came back and her ends were still too yellow and her roots had turned warm. It was just a bit of a mess. So this time around, I reviewed a few of your comments. You guys are so incredibly supportive on the last video and so many stylists actually reached out with solutions or reasons for why things did not happen the way they wanted to happen. One of the things that I had such a hard time figuring out what was going on is the fact that her hair, despite being blonde at the ends, would not bleach. It would not go lighter than that. It would just remain yellow. We bleached it twice and then we toned it twice and it remained exactly the same. And I could not for the life of me figure out what was wrong until literally everyone commented the same exact thing and it didn't hit me. I don't know why it didn't hit me. Sometimes you're looking for really complex answers and and i just i completely missed the simplest one which is that in malta we have hard water hard water means that the water has a lot and a lot of minerals that attach to the hair magnesiums calciums coppers these not only stick to the hair and appear as a barrier but they also dull the hair and make it appear more brassy exactly like what jenny's hair was doing both jenny and i use hard water the metals on the hair as a result of it was acting as a barrier not allowing the bleach to penetrate the right way and also distorting the blonde way well, i should have started with was a metal remover or a filter. Malibu C have a really, really good one. Color Wow also have a really, really good one. I neglected to do it. Sad thing is a lot of these comments were actually posted after I then attempted to fix her hair second time. 
even in this transformation i don't end up using a remover i kick myself for it because it's one of those things that you're looking for complex answers you're looking to try figure out what their hair history would prevent product from entering and it really it you don't consider daily factors you don't consider environmental factors step one if you live in an area where there's hard water use a bloody metal remover mineral remover this is gonna save you a lot of stress but so let's get to the extra transformation um this was jenny's hair when she came back the second time around her hands were still quite warm but then her roots turned fully yellow all of the ash any ash that she had that we successfully managed to put into her hair it washed out i'm not sure why this washed out so quickly despite being a permanent dye but it washed up and it left her completely gold it like she was gold so her roots were a 7.4 i checked it which on the schwarzkopf color chart is gold so her roots had managed to turn a 7.4 where I had lightened it and then her ends were a warm 9.0. The goal today was to try to remove some of the warmth, so add in a shit ton of gray to try to just neutralize the warmth. We did not want to bleach her hair a third time, so the ends I didn't do anything except a basin tone. For the future i will be using just a mineral remover because it brightens the hair so beautifully so here is what i decided to go into for her formula for her roots to try to finally and in one swoop motion cancel out all of the yellow on her roots i went in with 811 and 612 which is the ashiest grayest colors that i could possibly find in schwarzkopf's color chart and i went in with 10 volume this means that i literally just wanted to deposit this ash into the hair where I could see it. And I used 10 volume. These were my low light colors. I then re-highlighted her ends in a combination of slices and weaves all throughout her hair. So I did one row weave, one row slice, and then one row low lights. And then her bleach, I literally just used the bleach, Blonde Me Bleach by Schwarzkopf with 10 and 20 volume to try to lift her hair. It worked extremely well. On her roots, I had no problem bleaching it. It was literally just her ends. It was very sad. I did this all throughout her head, not really focusing too much on the back of her head and mainly focusing it on the front. Basically bringing more blonde into her hair and removing more of that gold, simultaneously depositing a lower light ashy color all over it. The hopes would be that I would get kind of a zebra effect on her root. So literally we're going for that because we were going to tone at the basin. Once again, probably another two hours to do her whole head. I do not know how you guys do it. Highlights took it out of me, absolutely took it out of me. I realized just how much I love block coloring, but it is also one thing I'd really love to improve this year. Like as a stylist or any, any profession in any industry, you have an option of either just focusing on what you do know and never attempting what you don't know, or else trying to start working towards the things that you don't know. And one of the things that I struggle with is highlight application, especially when it comes to timing. So I did all of this and essentially by the time I had finished the front of her hair, it was literally time to move her straight away to the basin to start removing the back highlights. I was super happy to see that her back lifted to a banana yellow hair color. So I started just dry rubbing all of the bleach that was ready, removing the foils, making sure they were all okay. Obviously, because this wasn't toned, the roots were brighter than her ends. This is normal, but internally I was freaking out. So I'm like, oh my god, I hope the toner works. I hope it's going to deposit well. I hope it's going to look good. I hope we're gonna get her ashy. It's a lot of panic internally, basically. Finally, I took out all of her foils literally everywhere. And I was glad to see that most of it lifted beautifully. Again, she was super like chunky. Like it was looking like 2000s Christina Aguilera. Like it was, it was it was weave after weave it was not like blended at all but that was fine i was like i i need to trust the process like sometimes you just need to trust the process so then i decided to tone her with a mixture of 9-1 which is an ashy blonde 0.22 which is a blue concentrate and 8-1 to darken it slightly i did all of this with a 10 volume applied it at the basin towards every single inch of blonde she had on her roots that we literally just bleached. This is one of those moments that as a hairstylist or even if you're attempting your hair, sometimes you really just have to trust the product. 
I was hesitant at this point because in the previous video you saw that I trusted the product and it did not do well. It did not perform as it was instructed to me. But I put this all over her and at the same time I ended up going in with Schwarzkopf's silver dye, mixed it in with a hair mask and applied that all over her ends. I left this all on her hair for 20 minutes, kind of always looking at it, making sure it was developing well to my satisfaction it started looking silver to be honest i'm scared now that i took her a bit too silver like in her hairline by the end of it it was very much like giving like gray i really 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 liked it but i also knew that it was going to wash out quite quickly just because of how i knew jenny's hair would be so i was like don't worry this is going to fade when i took her out of the basin i washed her i did everything her hair was feeling amazing i will not stop reiterating this throughout all of my videos i don't know what jenny does i don't know what she's made of i don't know what her European blood is giving her her hair throughout all of this, despite being quite fine, did not break, did not shed, did not give up. The only thing I would say is that it felt rough, but I can now attribute this to it being very hard water because hard water, the one thing you can feel is that it feels a bit rougher. Like the texture does not feel silky. It feels like it's coated. Regardless, I washed it out. I then took her back to the chair and I was like, let's see what we're left with. I don't think I ended up recording her blowout, but I did end up getting you the very final look. Keep in mind it was close to midnight at this point because she had come literally after work and this still took four and a half hours, but it was not giving yellow it was not giving orange it was a lot more blended even when we kind of lifted up her hair one of the best ways to tell if you know you did a good blonding job or not is whether you can see it at the hairline at the nape of your neck i was very satisfied with the results there were still areas that i could see that i wanted to improve on like the effect of the highlights was very chunky and again, this is something I wish to improve. Unfortunately, baby lights just take so long that you feel like you're just spending your life baby lighting. Her hairline also was considerably more gray, but I was like, this is still a better alternative to her looking yellow. So in the end, she walked away at close to midnight with hopefully much more of like a silver fox color. I was even kind of happy with how her ends were looking. That being said, I, st I still want to give it a go once more. <laughs> but yeah, that is, that is kind of the tactic that I took this time around. You guys definitely helped in, in bringing to attention quite a few different factors that do play a factor in hair. That is one of the greatest things that I learned that I think I should definitely instruct you guys is that so many factors play into hair that sometimes even as a stylist, you aren't able to fathom it all. Because when her hair was not lifting the first time, I was like, either there is a barrier on her hair, there is a treatment that she's not telling me, there is hormonal effects that might be compromising her hair like she is a mother maybe that hair that part of her hair was the hair that she grew during her pregnancy there were so many things going through that i was like trying to just take into consideration like whether the product was working whether i was using the right product whether the technique was correct whether it was expired whether it was the wrong batch whether i was at fault that hard water literally didn't even come into consideration that's how complex hair is this year i'm definitely going to focus on honing the skills that i'm not as confident in, highlights being one of them, blonding transformations being another. There are so many things that as a stylist, as a creative, as anyone in the industry, you have so much that you could always learn. You literally never stop learning. And one of the things that I enjoy doing, especially on this channel, is educating you. I can educate you on things that I know, but on things that I don't know, I'm going to be sharing with you my failures, my vulnerabilities, and hopefully the things to avoid doing or instead opt to do because of what I learned. I will say through all this, Jenny was an absolute champ. She is a really, really fantastic person for me to use as a guinea pig, as weird as it sounds. She was the one that was kind of pushing me to do this in the best way possible because challenges are something that you should always step up to take. Let's continue to fall in love with hair, to do weird stuff to it. Let's continue to not damage it. We're on our hair growth journey and we're going to have a fantastic year of non-stop learning. Yeah, that was how I fixed 
my own mistakes and errors and how I will continue fixing them, which is through failing and learning <laughs> and sharing them on the internet because so many of you, so many of you, I cannot stress this enough, so many of you stepped up and told me like these are some areas that you guys came across and this might be what's happening for me. So thank you. Thank you for, for seeing me, for seeing me as a human being, for not trashing me. I really, really, really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video.